Okay, so I thought I'd be do some practice problems using Ohm's law. Uh, so just just remember, Ohm's law is nothing really fancy. It's just an equation to show the relationship between voltage across some device and the current running through it and its resistance. So let's say we're looking at a resistor and just imagine that this is part of a circuit and we're just isolating the resistor. And we're taking a look at the resistor and we know it's a 2K ohm resistor and we know that the voltage drop across this resistor is one volt. Through some measurement, or if it's a practice problem you're working on, you might see something like this. You might see a larger circuit here where they say, okay, we know that the voltage across this resistor is one volt, right? One volt right there. So one volt power supply. How do we calculate the current running through that resistor? Okay, that's our variable. Well, let's set up the equation using Ohm's law. We know that the voltage in this case, which is one volt across that resistor, equals the current running through it, which we don't know yet, so that's going to be our variable, times the resistance, which in our case is 2K. So now it's just some basic algebra. We're going to isolate the current on one side, that variable on one side, and we have the current equals 1 divided by 2K, and that equals 0 0.005 amps. Shorthand, let's go ahead and say 0 0.5 milliamps. Now, in addition to that sort of circuit, what happens if we don't know the uh, voltage? So let's say we have a resistor again. I'm going to draw it just a little bit differently. Let's say I have a resistor, um, and we know that the resistance is 3 kilo ohm. And we've done some measurements, or we're told that the current running through the resistor is uh, 0 0.1 milliamps. That's the current running through here. But what we don't know is we don't know the voltage drop across here. We don't know what V of the resistor is. So how do we know what that voltage is across that resistor? Well, let's look at our equation again. V equals IR. We know that the voltage drop across here equals, v, uh, equals I, which is the current, 0 0.1 milli, don't forget milli, times the resistance, which is 3K. So that's 0 0.0001 times 3,000. So if you, in your calculator, just make sure you have the right amount of zeros. And this gives you 0 0.3 volts, just by using Ohm's law. So we've solved for when we don't have, don't know the current. We've solved for when we didn't know the voltage. Let's solve for when we don't know the resistance. So let's say we have a resistor that we're looking at within a circuit, and we know that the current running through it is 0. Point, let's say 4 amps. And we know that the voltage drop across the resistor is 2 volts. And, but we don't know what R is. We don't know what the resistance is. Okay, and again, this is based off a circuit. So let's imagine that this is embedded within a circuit. Well, how do we solve for R? Just use the Ohm's law equation. V equals I times R. Since we know that the voltage drop across the resistor is 2 volts, we can say 2 equals the current, which is 0 0.4. Notice I didn't say milliamps, it's 0 0.4 amps, times the resistance. Okay, now again, some basic algebra. We're going to isolate R on one side. And we have R equals 2 divided by 0 0.4. Plug that into your calculator. If you can do that, go ahead and do that in your head. That's going to be 5 ohms. Okay, so now we've looked at three different ways of using uh, Ohm's law, or three different ways of solving for unknowns using Ohm's law. Hope that helps a little bit. Good luck in any tests or exams you might have coming up with regards to Ohm's law.